Hey everybody, my name is Caitlin today early and I thought I'd do some shopping. I went down to Walmart. I just went in to buy some what did I buy? I bought eyeliners. What I the purpose. The reason I went to Walmart was to get eyeliner. I left spending a little bit more than what I expected, but they have some really nice back to school clothes and even back to work clothes that I think you should probably check out if you're interested. So I thought I'd just do a little haul video but what I actually got at Walmart so you guys can see that they have some really awesome stuff there now and it's definitely not, definitely underrated store to buy things at. So we'll get started on the haul. So the purpose I went there to get, I got the L'Oreal liner this in is 10. what Tiffany D from Makeup by Tiffany D uses so I thought I'd try this one. And then I got the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel liner. But I got it in the purple, or eggplant, different, so I'm interested to try that one out and test it. So anyway, that was the purpose. Not the only thing I got, though. Walmart, I guess, has this new line. It's called G21. I don't know if it's product of George line that they carried, which was good as well, but they have some really awesome stuff. So I got some accessories and they had a whole display at the Walmart I was at of the accessories. So definitely did. was restraining myself there. Sure. I got these G21 earrings. They're $7. They're like the angel wings. Yeah, I think they're really pretty. They have some little bling on them. They look really good. Kind of Candy Johnson style. So I like those earrings. And then um, if you guys watch Rachel's though, you know Taylor who was her assistant. Big drama. Anyway, not getting into that at all now. She had this necklace across that was sideways on it, which I liked, and then I saw Lollipop26, who's also another YouTuber, also liked it, and she got one that was similar. I was at Walmart, I got this. It was $10 from, yes, it, it is George. I guess G21 is their teen line or younger line, so I'm not really there anymore, but we're totally still gonna buy it with this long chain that you can kind of wrap around your neck. I'll do a close up. It has some gold and silver and black crosses and it's really long. I don't know if it's almost too... I really liked it. So I liked it so I thought that would look cute over a black shirt or a white shirt or with jeans and a blazer. I thought it would be cute for 10 bucks. Sure. So I really like the whole plaid shirt, kind of cowboy-esque, love those. I bought a few for the winter and I wore them all the time. So Walmart had some in their flyer. And so I got this one. It's also G21. This shirt. It has the sleeves that roll up. So you can kind of like adjust them. I actually never did roll them down to see if they were long enough. But... Hopefully they are. And the cuff has two buttons as well. So it's really it's really a thin shirt, so it would be good for like the summer or fall. Good going back to back to school shirt. Miley Cyrus actually has a line in Walmart and I was just totally skeptical of this when I first saw it because it's Miley Cyrus. Anyway, this is actually the second thing I bought from hers. And the price points are great. Really affordable. Um it was $14. It's just this long kind of slouchy top. Long. And the neck's kind of big so it kind of sits on you like open shoulder. But the interesting thing is the back has this ruching. And has the ruching which is really nice, really elongates you and makes you look slim because the eye goes right to the middle. So I really like that shirt. It'd be a good kind of going out in a date shirt or movies or hanging out with friends. So my favorite article of clothing, George actually is great for career wear, that's where I've gotten quite a few of my clothes for work, but you can always have more, right? Totally, right? I got this gray dress, it has a nice detail around the arms, around the neckline, and it goes in at the waist a little, I'll probably have to cinch it with the belt, because it's just a little baggy there. Back has the nice slit in it, and it is stretchy. Not super stretchy, but it's enough so that you'll be able to move. And the back goes high on it as well. 
It has the nice lines. So it's real, it looks like it's really expensive. It's a nice gray color, which is in, if you've seen any of the magazines for fall, for Glamour, Harper Bazaar, it's a lot of gray. So I thought this was really good. Yeah, 20 bucks. 20 bucks for a dress. That was a cute, that was definitely being purchased. Um, so next from George, I got this medium $18 cardigan. And I'm sure the small would have fit, but the cardigans down in the models, they're wearing them kind of bigger and wrapping them around themselves and securing it with a belt. So I figured I'll just do that. Buttons, it has nice detail on the shoulder. Doubt you're going to get that on camera. But it has a nice little bit amount of ruching. So it's a little bit girlier. It's long. It's really long. It goes probably mid thighs. You could definitely wear it under a nice little tank top or a sweater or a t-shirt with this over top with leggings on. Do with boots would look really cute. It actually looked really nice over the dress. And this cardigan does come with a, a fabric tie with little belt loops. But if you don't like these, just take this out and these little belt loops certainly are hidden underneath a big belt, which is what I tend to do. But it's great. Nice warm sweater because you know offices are cold. So the next thing I got was three sweaters. They're from the G21. They were only $9. $9 for a nice fitting sweater. As if you're going to get me away from that deal. And that's my cat getting in bag if you hear that. Here, Emma. Oh, this is Emma. Say hi, Emma. Say hi, YouTube. Isn't she cute? Say hi. She's purring. I don't know if you can hear that, but the rustling will be her. Right back into the bag. Anyway, this sweater. We got a pink one. What I liked first about it was the nice neck. It's a wider neck. It's not like this t-shirt kind of neck. It's wider, but you can still, don't have to worry about your bra straps for the office. And it's pink, and I got the one that has the little bow in it. Just screen printed on. It's not embroidered or anything. That's the sweater. It has a nice wide ribbing at the bottom as well at the end of the sleeves. So it's not a heavy sweater. But it's a nice sweater to wear with a skirt or jeans or for work, office, play, school. Definitely multi-purposeable, okay? Great, so I got it in pink. And then I got a boring one in gray because I always am looking for gray things and I never have it. So it's just the same thing. I'll show it to you anyway. In medium. And then I got one in purple. Same thing. This one has the little heart on it. So George, the G21, is also doing boots and shoes. You have to check out the boots. There's a really hot pair of hot pink heels for like $20. And I was just like, you know what, Caitlin? Step away from the shoes. Anyway, the boxes look like this. So what's inside the box are knee-high boots. Knee-high boots on Prince Edward Island? Please, they're so hard to come by. Knee-high boots. They were, people, $29. $29 for knee-high boots. Crazy. Anyway, they are flat, which is great because walking around in the wintertime here with slush, with ice and heels, oh, please, doesn't end well. So that's how they go. They have kind of a, a suede-like feeling, but not suede. So I love suede boots, but we all know those get eaten by salt. One. Lots of width in the boot, or I guess the side, the outside has a buckle too, that you can adjust the size of it. Now, when I saw these I was like, oh sweet, they're high so it goes up above you over your totally fold them down, right? Because you're assuming, and they look really cute fold down. Here's the problem. It's where they stamp the size and the material fabric made. Not impressive, but... If you use your finger to kind of scrape it, just my finger now, and brush it off. So, that one used to say 
knee size eight. So I got that scraped off. And if you, okay, so it, it will come off, so don't let that deteriorate. You can definitely do two for one looks. And it scrapes off, and you just have to rub it with the end of an eyebrow brush, and this looks great. So, super buy. Only about five pairs in the store in Charlottetown, so if you're interested in them, you should probably check them out soon because, yeah, they go quick. So that's what I got at Walmart. For all of that, it was like $150, give or take, which is awesome. Crazy. Really good price. Walmart has lots of other things for back to school, which is a little bit too young for me, but if you're looking to go back to school or back to work, definitely check out Walmart. So I hope you like this review and hopefully you'd like to go down and check out Walmart. Never underestimate the box stores. They're getting some good designers in. Kind of becoming the target of Canada. Well, not that good, but great price points and the clothes wear well. So that's all I have to say. Have a good weekend. Hopefully see you guys soon. Bye.